These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. All right. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. And yeah, it's time. It's time for the Cross Pro. I'm really excited about this. 1200 ma, 2 mil, 0.6 ohm coil. I like Vapresso. I like the Cross Coil heads. I think the Cross Coil heads have proven themselves to me over the years. I got a 0 0.6 ohm and a 1 ohm coil head. And oh my, look at this thick, chorky fellow. It looks like a train. It looks like a Japanese bullet train. It is pretty weighty and it's got a kind of slick little like hidden screen right behind the surface there. I think that's a cool little feature. USB-C on the bottom. That's a manual on off switch. And then kind of like the Cross 2, it's got the airflow control across the back. Crack to fill, you love to see it. 12 milligram non-salt deep cuts guava jelly goes on the inside. Here's the thing, I'm not gonna lie. It's big. This is heavy. Even though I can do hands-free with these cross pods, I think this is just way too heavy to do hands-free. I'm going to pay for that battery life, that 1200 mom. I'm going to pay for that in the weight of this. Small pro tip, don't remove the sticker on the bottom. Fill the pod. Take like one soft drag on it. You're good. The juice is already where it needs to be. So if I'm using a pod between 0.6 all the way up to 1.2 ohm, I'm only going to get to choose between normal power and eco mode. If I'm using a coil head that's below 0 0.6 ohms, then I can get access to the wattage mode where I can actually adjust the wattage 25, 26 watts like that. Right now, this is just the 0.6. It's in normal mode. Cheers. The lock locks the power button, lets the airflow switch stay on. You'll love to see it. I think I might like to try this in power mode, which is just the highest wattage setting. Power is the highest, normal is the mediumest, and eco is the lowest. Eco will save battery, but it makes the vape, you know, it's a little bit pitiful. Let's be real. And a one, two, three will get me into the menu. And now I can swap it around. I think for this 0.6, the power mode is gonna be the good mode. I, I, I can't get over how big this is. It's just big, feels like a, I don't know, it feels techy. It feels like a weirdly sized phone. Like it has that kind of like tech weight feel to it. There's a little LED indicator on the bottom, blue, red, green. I'm assuming this is blue, so it's the middleest. They usually arrive out of the box blue to begin with. Lock it, vape. All right, well, listen, today is just day one. I've used the cross coil heads a lot, so it's kind of less about that and more about how I get along with this honking battery. I use a lot of pods. Pods have been getting bigger. Things like the Caliburn G, things like the new Novo, they're bigger, they're, they're heavier. So this kind of fits right along with that. We'll see how it goes. I will catch up with you at a later date. All right, well, welcome to the later date. In fact, 1,175 puffs later, later date. The 0.6 coil held up great. Uh, a few weeks into it, I switched it into the Cross 3 Nano because I really like the 0.7 pods. So I put the 0.7 pods in here. In fact, this isn't about these coil heads. Uh, like I already said, the Cross pods have already proven themselves to me. In fact, the Cross pods have proven themselves to me a little bit again because in the process of doing this review, I ran out of my deep cuts 12 milligram 50-50 guava jelly that I use in all of my pods and in all of my pod reviews for the sake of consistency. I had to resort to a 70 VG different 12 milligram guava in this. Still vaping great, still vaping great. This 0.7 coil can handle 70 VG flawlessly, handles it flawlessly, but really it's about this battery. And I got to say, I have been getting along with this battery so well. The lock on the side is basically my favorite thing. I never have to worry about the button because I know that it's locked. Adjustable airflow works exactly like I expected it to. I can tighten it down and make it real tight, still enjoyable, but real tight. I can open it way up to my preferred sort of little bit more open mouth to lung. It kind of does everything in between. It's over a thousand ma, it's 1200 ma, and I absolutely believe it when I'm around the house and around the world with many pods in my hands and pockets, this one, the Cross Pro, has been the one that has been outlasting all of them. And the only sacrifice is, like I said, it's a little bit weighty, which kind of limits the hands freeness, but I'm not gonna ding it for that. 
because if I really want it, I can still do it. The screen is slick. I like that it's hidden behind the front of the device itself and kind of only comes to life when you need to see it. I like what it shows me, my power level, my puff counter, my battery level. That's all I've ever wanted. I like the color LED on the front. I've just become accustomed to taking a toot and looking down at my battery and going, oh, it's green, we're good, or oh, it's blue, we're still fine, or oh, it's red, I need to charge it. I like that I can have both the LED indicator and the percentage on the screen. That goes a long way with me. And it's got a percentage on the screen when it's charging too, and I think that's pretty slick. That's not a completely new feature. The Lux Pro, I believe, did the exact same thing. It's not super, super accurate down to the minute, but I like when I plug it in, it gives me a little like ballpark estimate, like, eh, this will be charged in about 32 minutes. Come back 32 minutes later, sure as shit, it's charged. I, I, look, I've been a big fan of the cross for a while now, you know? I have a complicated relationship with the cross. The first two crosses, people raved about them, I didn't get it, didn't like them. That's not completely true. The cross two was pretty okay, but the cross three has firmly cemented itself. That line of coil heads just in general have firmly cemented themselves as like some of my favorite mouth to lung pods. They have, like I said, proven themselves to me. And this battery being cross compatible with all of my favorite cross pods that, I mean, to me, this is a 10 banana sticker battery, undeniably. This is a great upgrade to the cross line. It's a big battery, but it's a smaller package. It's got some adjustability to it. And honestly, all of the other colors look way cooler than the weird, boring forest green one I got. It's nice, it's green, it's kind of this emerald green and it's really okay, but the orange and black one looks so much cooler. The other ones look so much cooler. I like this so much that I'm gonna go buy that, that orange and black battery like today. I just want it. The Cross Pro is the Pro Cross. I mean, this is it. I'm just sitting here vaping. I am thoroughly, wholly, completely satisfied and impressed by the Cross Pro. I cannot tell you exactly where to get these and I cannot tell you exactly how much they cost, but I will say I have seen them in places for under $30. So, you know, no real vape budget hands there. And honestly, the quality of this, like I said, I, I'm going to go out today and buy the orange and black one. If you're watching this video and you're someone who smokes combustible cigarettes, maybe it's time to switch. I believe in you. It's never been easier. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free. Yeah, literally every single day. It's like 1030 and I'm uh, just going to smoke. So 